That's a cool looking holler. Look at this holler. Look at that holler. Oh, the neck is kind of weird though. I like the wings on it though. They're red though. I don't like that. That. Why? Why? Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our fugitive run. We are currently in an outlaw system looking for a solar ship. Last episode, we got a ton of cargo or our, I guess, inventory upgrades for our uh, exosuit. So, I mean, now we're just looking for a freaking uh, either a crashed solar ship or any kind of a solar ship simply because we need one to enter a outlaw space station. So we are currently looking for that. And I think, oh, there we are. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at the radar and I saw two squares. I was like, what? All right. So yeah, any ship on in the uh, nearby will look like a, uh, a white square on the radar. And so even ones that are flying, so a pirate or a trader or whatever will show up. So just keep that in mind, but we are looking for our own crashed ship. Or if we can find a drop pod, we can stop by. That's not a net. Nope. Can't do that one. We are fugitives, so we cannot go in buildings. I have to remind myself all the time because I'm playing all kinds of I'm playing the expedition where it doesn't matter. I'm playing a fugitive run. I'm also playing my main save. So I got to mostly when I say that I'm reminding myself, don't go in to a building because we're on a fugitive run on this one. And I mean, I want, I don't want to leave this system because I want to go to a freaking pirate. Oh, I mean, I can't actually because my main sentinel ship, the, uh, the launch fuel, the launch, uh, thruster is broken. So I need to fix that and it's really expensive to repair. So I need a repair kit in order to do that. I need to go to the space station for that. The outlaw space station. That's some uh, shelters. We don't need that. I wish there was a, uh, a dead planet in the system. If there was a dead planet, it would make it so much easier because we can just scan for a freaking uh, a, uh, a, a crashed ship or a transmission or something. But we cannot lucky for me I mean we haven't tried the aggressive sentinel planet I specifically don't want to simply because the aggressive sentinel planet is going to be a pain in the butt to run away from the sentinels however we're not having very much luck on this cold planet not very much at all so that's an observatory yep observatory we don't need that But I mean, yeah, the other only other planet in the system is a hot uh, lava planet, which we do have hot protection. So we probably could go there and just kind of check it out and see what's going on. We might actually go there. You know what? Let's give it a couple more minutes here. See if we run into anything. But if not, we'll run over to the uh, the hot planet, the magma planet. And see if we can make any progress over there. Let's see. Oop, what is this? Drop pod? Drop pod? You are a... Nope, just a little save beacon. You know what? Let's land here. I know I have... Yep, I have a little bit of uh, launch fuel left. My uranium. So let's see. Maybe we can get a uh, trader to land for us. Microprocessor. We don't need that, but I appreciate it. I'm not seeing anything around here. We could also look for a grave marker. I don't think. I mean, you know, it's not likely to run into a boat. You never know. We could. We could run into one. I have full fuel in my uh, launch thruster, so I can call in my hauler whenever I need to. Get a trader to land, please, for the love of God. We're going to need some uh, sodium nitrate. 
Also some oxygen. Wow, I'm thinking about it. Uh, so yeah, this is, I mean, it's kind of, it's easier once you have it, but it's really, really a pain in the butt to get a solar ship. Now, once you have one, it's all, it's awesome because you can go in and out of the, uh, in and out of the space station with your solar ship. That's not a problem. Land for me. God dang it. I was hoping. It's not a problem because as long as you keep your solar ship, you're good to go. Don't want Sentinels creeping up on me. And I mean, I do have enough batteries. Oh, we need life support shell. So that's what we'll do. Let's look for life support shell along the way. Crystals. We need the blue crystals to make our jellies. Uh, so if you guys have not, I mean, this episode should go up on a Wednesday. If you have not done your uh, expedition replays, you should be. Remember, they reset every Friday morning, so that'll be different depending on your time zone. It'll be Friday, I mean, if you're in the United States, it'll be Friday like at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, don't wait till Friday to do it unless you want to wake up like at 2 o'clock in the morning, which I doubt you want to do. Do it by Thursday night. Thursday night is like the cutoff almost, so make sure you get it done, especially this week. Christmas, the week between Christmas and New Year's. This week we have the Golden Vector, which has never been replayed before. So don't miss out. If you have not gotten your Golden re uh, golden Vector, go do it right now. Do it. It depends on your, uh, your spawn location, but you could probably get it done in a couple of hours. So if you really sit down and just crank through it, you can get it done in a couple of hours. So don't wait. Don't wait till the last minute. Just get it done. Anybody want to land for me? No, not you. So yeah, a lot of people, they say, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, it's Friday morning. Sorry, you missed your chance. It's over. Get it done. And then after that, we have the uh, the Voyager's Expedition, which is kind of the one I don't like. The, the one that starts on this Friday, tomorrow, or two days from now is the one that you have to go find like the corrosive blood animal, the hot blooded animal, the cold planet. All those are just pains. I hate those. Those are my absolute least favorite uh, expeditions when you have to find special like animals and stuff like that. Oh, I hate those so much. Those are so frustrating because the, uh, the whole nature of No Man's Sky is procedural generation. So you don't know where these animals are going to be. And so I get it. It's kind of nice because from a community perspective, we're all working together to find these cool animals. The problem is I want to speed run it. I want to get it done as quick as possible. And that is not really feasible in the beginning. Like after a little while, yeah, you'll everyone will know, oh, go to this planet and you'll find the corrosive blooded animal. Or you go to this other one and there's a hot blood animal or whatever. But man, at the first day or two, it is going to be rough because we all got to find it. I got to find it and then share it out with everybody. Let's go over here. Damage machinery. Oh, there's another unknown building. Let's see. Is it a crash solar? Oh, you guys. When do you guys land? No. Yeah, see? That is why we're in a pirate system, an outlaw system, because man, solars are all over the place. I love it. Oh, dang it, Sentinel. Get out of here. This one is not a building. It is. Oh, it's a plaque. So it's technically a building of some kind. Not a building you can get inside of, though. Nothing around here. No grave markers. Boom. I know, man. Sentinels are just popping up all over the place. Goodness. Goodness. Let me get the uh, oxygen here.
Not seeing any grave markers. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing. All right. It's been a couple minutes. I think we're going to give up on this one. So let's call in our ship. We're going to fly over to the magma planet. Maybe we'll get more luck over there. Oh, we have launch fuel. So there you go. We have more fuel. Let's see. Can we take off? Of course we can't. Zero percent. Man, it took all of our fuel. We went from 100 to zero by calling it in. Wow. Yeah, extreme difficulty, man. They don't mess around. Is that my magma planet? I don't think that is. I think this one is. So let's go towards this one. There are only three planets in this entire system, so... This one is our... Nope, that's the Veridant, so that's not the one. That's the one aggressive... Uh, that's the aggressive planet. Oh, it's going to lock onto the trading post. Okay, we're not going to go to the trading post, but... Since the game wants to lock in on it, let's just go with the flow for now. Think we can do some more uh, life support jumps? Oh, we're going to need some more uh, oxygen. But we got it. We're good. Wait a minute. No, we want to keep that. So let's pop that back out. There we go. So we got some sodium nitrate. We got some regular sodium. We have a whole bunch of ferrite dust. We don't need that. Let's get rid of it. Let's just take it up room and I can get more of it. And this is, I, I forgot. Yeah, this is a weird magma planet with volcanoes and water, which is so strange. Like not just even a little bit of water. Like we have big old oceans on this planet, which is crazy to me. How does a, a volcano planet have this much water well let's keep heading south let's see if we can find some uh crash ships so especially for this one i'm just gonna kind of uh fly around a, li a little bit and try to see if we can get something on our radar and maybe if we find something cool we'll land and uh head towards it like maybe a drop pod You know what? Let's try our signal booster here. There's no uranium, so we're going to need to get some launch fuel. It's an extreme heated planet. Let's see what it marks. What are you marking? Please mark something good. Marked a... Is that a manufacturing facility? Manufacturing facility. Well, that's great. I almost walked away without getting my signal booster. So this will be good for getting our extreme milestone. Now, that doesn't matter for this playthrough. Because as a fugitive, it doesn't matter how extreme you are. Just on if you survived. Now, again, with the signal booster, you have to go to that location or else it does not count. And it won't scan for another location until you do, which is a pain in the butt. We can't go inside. We just want to get close enough to mark it. There we go. Done. Marked it. We're out. Just keep going. Get a little bit off the ground so we get a little bit more air clearance. That's a lot of water. I'm not going to find any crashed ships in the water. Maybe the other side of the planet will have more land. That is uh, the key. You want to look for land. A lot of uh, land mass. Maybe not. I'm not seeing a lot. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot. This is like half ocean. What the? How? I mean, if I had a... Uh... If I had a freaking submarine, or if I had a mech, we could do this. But, no, no, see, this is all water. What the crap? Maybe we go to a different system. Because, man, this is not lucky at all. Is this all water? Oh, no, there's a lot of land here. Okay, now we found the big landmass. Okay. 
Well, let's head north from here. There's still some water, which is crazy. But at least we have some land to search. Because there, are, you can find crashes underwater. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you cannot. However, when you're scanning and looking, it's really hard to see underwater. You have to either use a uh, an exocraft to mark the location, or as you're swimming along, you might you know randomly run into one. But you can't see it from the surface. I can't see through the water, and so you know you're, it's really hard, really rare that you're gonna find one by flying over it. That's an observatory. Don't need that. Yeah, I know why I went back to the cold planet. Just because it's a lot harder to run this. I mean, we can stop and get some storm crystals. Those are worth a lot. Those are worth a good amount of money. Just don't land on them and break them. Land near them. That way I can... Boom, boom. Yeah, see, weird animal. I'm not seeing... Any markers for anything? I see, you know, storm crystals. Yeah. Now, it is better to use your jetpack in the storm because, uh, you know, jetpack is... Uh, overloaded or not overloaded um boosted i guess is a better word for it you can you use less fuel during a storm so yeah you can just go for a long time look at all of the oh my god this is the jackpot right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven storm crystals in one shot. Oh crap. They only stack up to three? Jesus. Well, never mind. They're they're worth more than uh berry technology, so actually it's way more efficient to get storm crystals versus uh berry technology. But they only stack three. Oh god. That means you can really run into uh, you know, get a whole bunch of them and just fill up your entire inventory with this thing. Holy mackerel. One, two, and three. Another stack. Got another 600,000. I mean, yeah, if a trader lands, we'll be able to make a ton of money, but who knows when that trader will land. Yeah, we got nothing here. Where'd my ship go? Where are you, ship? There you are, over there. Let's make sure that my, uh... My ship has launch fuel in it. So I don't want to get too far away and then not be able to call it in. I mean, I do have other ships, so it's not a big deal. But I don't want to use a whole bunch of them if I can just pop this one. There we go. As soon as I get here, the storm clears. Oh, we're at 93. So we definitely need to make uh, metal plating, and then we can make a launch. Oh no, we need dihydrogen, son of a. Dihydrogen, where are you? Over here. I know. Oh, I didn't check the temperature when the storm was raging. I'm gonna have to look at that when I edit the video, because I wanted to see how long, uh, how high it got. I, I, I think I, in the, a couple episodes ago, I think I said it would get up to like. 500, but I didn't even check it. I didn't even check. Dang it. All right, let's see. Can I call it in? Nope, it needs to be at 100%. Son of a... Of course it needs to be at 100%. Why would I imagine that 93 would be enough? 93%, not enough. Not for this, uh, this ship, the big old hauler. Takes up all the fuel to recall it. Come on, recharge. Buried cash. 
scan some animals while I'm here. Get some money for that. How is my scanner not recharging at this point? How? It has taken so long to recharge my, my scanner. It's crazy. You know what? I'm not going to call it in. Screw it. Let's just fly. Let's just fly with it. I was going to walk around and look, but I am not going to waste that much time. Especially when I have to fill it up 100%. Just to call it in. And then I'm going to have to fill it up again once, I, once it lands wherever we're going. Yeah, all of a sudden now, my scanner is taking a long time to recharge. That's kind of weird. Looking for any white dot, uh, white squares that come up on my radar. Yeah, what is that? Why? Ugh. Should we check this one? Let's check this one. <laughs> Just because. I know. We had to, though. 42. Now, we're not going to land because I don't want the sentinel to see me, but maybe we can find some stuff when we get in here. Let's go towards the north. Well, it's a mountainy uh, planet, so that's not good. That's not going to be easy for uh, searching for stuff. Look at how fast my scanner is recharging now. What is the difference? Is it the planet type? On an extreme world, it doesn't recharge as fast? What is going on here? Why, I wonder? Why does it take so long on certain planets? And I mean, this one, I'm recharging really quickly. What is going on? has to be the planet type if you're on an extreme world it takes forever to recharge but why that doesn't make sense superheated rainstorm yeah this is not a good planet even if i uh, wanted to land here it has storms so it's not like it's paradise anyway and it has a lot of mountains which is very very difficult to kind of find stuff on you can still do it, but it's way more of a pain in the butt. And at least we got a drop pod. We'll land here. Maybe while we're doing the drop pod, uh, some sentinels will uh, come get me and, and destroy that whole deal. Um, And maybe a trader will land as well. That way I can at least... Oh yeah, sentinels immediately. Immediately! As soon as I get out of my ship, he's right on my butt. Are you serious? Well, I need carbon. That way I can make a nanotube. Settle didn't even wait for a second. Just immediately got me. That settled right here. Like, looking right at it. You suck. I'm inside the, uh, I'm inside the drop pod. You can't get me here. It doesn't count. I'm inside of the interior. I'm safe. I'm safe. Um, no, we're not doing that. Down here. What, what do you think this is? No Man's Sky? Yeah, see, oh, look at it. It did count. I'm technically inside of a building when I'm this far in. Ha <laughs> ha ha. All right, we'll put our ammo up there. That way we have a nice, clean, solid square for all of our other crap. Yeah, so we got a whole bunch of this. So one, two, three million probably. Three million just in storm crystals. Yes. All right. Get back in the ship as fast as possible. That way the Sentinel doesn't find me. Yep, and I'm out. I'm out. I'm not messing around. I'm not messing with them. Just continue on. I can't see the surface when there's a... Uh, a storm brewing. Like, literally, look at that. I can't. There's all fog. 
Not ideal. I mean, yeah, it looks like the best planet in this system is that cold planet we had nothing, we couldn't find anything on. But at least it's easier to, to traverse. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And you know what? All that work! Going back and forth, back and forth for no reason, because, uh, Cold Planet is the solution. Cold Planet is the solution. So we know we were up there on the north end, because that's where we marked our last building. Can I make, uh, launch fuel? I can, I just need a metal plating. We're good on that, then. Let's make a launch fuel. That way I have one for my freaking ship, because, you know, Lord knows! I ran out of uranium, dang it. Where's my, uh, asteroids? There they are. Give me a whole bunch of, uh, tritium. I just need tritium for fuel. Come on. Tritium. There we go. Let's go over here. We weren't over here before. We have nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we got fuel and we got platinum. Now we're up to 24,000 platinum, or 24,000 worth of platinum. We got this, guys. We got this. Let's get our freaking solar. That way we can repair our Sentinel and get the heck out of this system. It's terrible. Nice, flat, not extreme. Don't have to worry about Sentinels and don't have to worry about uh, storms all the time. It's kind of nice. Storms happen, but it's not every five seconds. That is a minor settlement. Not doing that. They'll wrap me out. And let's head north. Oh, another building right over here. This is a... What is it? Drop pod? Or just a... Oh, no, it's a Sentinel uh, Depot. So a resource depot. We could do that for our materials, however... I don't need anything. I'm still sitting pretty on 13 million from all our scans. Holy cow. Broadcast tower. Still not finding anything. So the one drawback to doing this is that I can't really see any grave markers because... I mean, it's possible. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Dang it. These guys. I don't need you. You're not a you're not a freaking. What is okay? They split up. That was kind of weird. None of you are, are solar, so I don't need you. But what I was saying was uh, the hard part about this is you can see a grave marker. Don't get me wrong; it's possible. However, you have to be going pretty low, pretty slow for it to pop up on you. So unless you're going low and slow, it's gonna be real hard to find it. Yep, those guys are gone. They flew away. So yeah, just low and slow. Because they'll zip right by. You can only see in a ship, your radar only pops up for about 50 feet around you. And so if you're going too quick, it'll just zip on by. And if you're going too uh, high, you won't even register because it's too far away. So this is really only useful for ships. Honestly. What is going on here? Oh, this keeps marking that pirate. I don't want to fight him. Leave me alone. I'm not going after that pirate. You can just let him go. He's a red dot or red square, but I keep thinking it's white. And my eyes are going bad because I'm old. And I have to take that into account. <laughs> I have bad eyes. All right. You know what? Oh, building. What is this building? Crash ship? A crash solar ship? Nope. Broadcast tower.
We're gonna land right here. I'm gonna refill that thing. And as we're running along, we're gonna get some more dihydrogen and some more ferrite dust so we can make more launch fuel. But as of right now, we can uh, call in our ship if we need to. So that's what we'll do. Oh, there's a building. See, I didn't even see that building on the scanner earlier. What is this building? Drop pod? It's over here. What is it? Unknown building. It's not marking. What is going on here? Um, Let's do this. Yep, dihydrogen. Grab all this stuff. We're going to make some uh, fuel and some life support shells. Oh, broadcast tower. Son of a... I didn't see the building, but, you know, it was behind a mountain. So that's why. Nothing, nothing. Keep on going. And... Double reason for doing this. Number one, I could find grave markers a little easier. Number two, the uh, the traders will land if you're on foot. They will not land if you're flying by on a ship. Drop pod. Drop pod data. And it looks like no. Big fat no on that one. That's okay. Not all of them are going to be winners. Fill that up. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Broadcast tower or the holographic comms tower. Oh, God. Hey, I don't need you snapping on me. Let's keep going. Come on. Freaking solar. I mean, honestly, it might be easier just to uh, go to a different system, even though it's more of a pain because my main ship is broken and I can't fix it. Okay, like that. I know there's an observatory there. I can see it with my eyeballs. Why is it not popping up on my scanner? Like, look at that. It's within 608, 600, within 600 units, 600 feet away. So it should pop up. Maybe you got to scan. Okay, so it didn't pop up until I scanned. Maybe that's the, the solution. Just scan the area <laughs> and it'll mark it for you. Maybe? I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe that is the solution. I don't think so. Nothing, nothing. You would think in a colder environment, like a cold planet, your jetpack would work better. Doesn't Does not overheat because it's a cold planet, right? Why doesn't it work better? I don't need that. Uh, explore. We're good. I only get mad whenever I see a uh, solar fly over and not land for me. I hear somebody. Oh, there he is. Is that a solar? Nope, that's an explorer. That's a little tiny explorer. Look at that. Guys zipping along. Not mess with that building. Did I get all the animals on this planet? Nope, two more, two more. So, well, I mean, while we're here, if we're doing it, we might as well do it all the way, right? Um, uncommon ground, mostly nocturnal at night. Uncommon underground. Okay, so we have a, a night creature we can look for. He's on the ground, so should be out here anytime now. Nocturnal. seeing anything. That weird ground creature that like digs through the ground. Dang it. Ground 
Not seeing any uh, ships out there. No weird shapes, no buildings. Some very technology floating. Other than that, though, nothing really. Hey! No, not really. I don't want you guys to land. Yep, just keep going. If you have a solar, tell him to land. I'd appreciate that. But let your uh, solar ship buddy know. I'm looking for him. Let's scan it just to make sure I get my secondary out of it. And we get oxygen. Okay. I'll take oxygen. Nothing. Nothing. Blue crystals. Give me all that carbon. Oh, Sentinel. Nope. Don't. Nope. It wasn't me. It was not me. It's someone else. I'm innocent. All right. I mean, maybe I should be searching these uh, damage machinery so I might get a cold protection out of one of them. Out of one of them. I hear somebody. Not what I need, though. And I mean, who knows? They might not even land, even if it was a solar. Probably won't even land for me. They haven't before. Not yet. Really? I'm leaving, Sentinel. I'm leaving. Don't you worry. I'm out of here. Uh, unknown building. I'm, I'm good. I don't need that. And a note. Good Lord. How many, how many of these comms towers have we gotten? Holy cow, that's like, what, the fourth one? Is this like comms tower area in here? What the heck is going on? Give me a different building. Give me like a drop pod or a crash ship. That'd be even better. Give me the crash ship unknown building. I'll take that. Not messing with that one. Let's go. I know. Excuse me, Sentinel. I'm looking for a crashed solar or maybe a solar to land for me. Like a trader. That would be cool. That's a hauler worth uh, 53 million. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. I don't want to mess with that one. I only have, what, 13? 13.3? Yeah. I do have some money going on here, but you know, not enough. I don't got another like 50 million just sitting in my inventory. Unknown building, huh? Yes, he just randomly marking it. I didn't mark that. It's a thousand feet away. I can't even see that far. No man, Sky is trying to help me out. Well, there's one 800 and then there's one 500. What is that? What is that? That's pretty weird. They're right next to each other. Maybe one of them is a crash ship and the other one is a... Uh, uh, like a trading outpost, maybe? <laughs> One of them has to be a crashed solar, right?
You know, I'm not seeing that nighttime animal, dang it. Nighttime's almost over. I say, like, time to get your butt out here. So I can scan you. It is uncommon, so it's a rare one. Well, there's one over here. And cargo drop right next to it. Jettison pod. What is this? Oh, it's a resource depot. Don't need that. Dang it. There's a solar in there. You didn't want to land for me. Son of a... Now I do, and I, it's probably incorrect, but I do have a theory that if you stand still, they are more likely to land. Not positive. Okay. I mean, we have a crashed ship. The problem is it's not a solar. Oh, there's a pilot here. Pilot. We don't want to deal with this, so we won't be able to take his ship. He's a purple Corvax. I feel bad about this, man, because you're part of the purple crew, but leave no witnesses. No witnesses. Sorry, buddy. You and your uh, you and your fighter are done. It did come out as an and come out as an unknown building that they marked. Like I didn't mark that one. That's the one that they marked. So, okay, they will mark random locations for you to visit. I wonder if there's like a limitation. Like, is it a percentage thing? Like, it's a higher percentage to get a a trading outpost marked randomly for you. Or is it just random completely? Like, it's just anything that's within a thousand feet might get marked for you. If you're walking around for long enough. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's call in our ship. Cannot land there. What? Why? Gonna need some ferrite dust and some dihydrogen, so might as well get both, right? So we need to make a metal plating. Let's make two, and then we can make two drop uh, starship launch fuels. Here we go. Easy peasy. And we're not going to go south. We just came from south, so we know there's nothing down that way. However, keep heading north. I like how it still has that ship marked back there. No! Don't mark that ship. Mark another one. Like a solar ship. That would be great. Come on. I just realized they don't give me my speed. Oh no, top. Okay, top. I was looking down at the bottom. They do tell you your speed at the top. Just trying to get a gauge for how fast I'm going. 178. What is that? Oh, be or broadcast tower or beacon, whatever you want to call it. That way we can see where a minor settlement is, but I don't care. I can't go there. This is a uh, transmission tower. Dang it. Cannot go in there. They would wrap me out in a second. What is this? Shelter, don't need it. Oh, crash freighter, that's cool. And a, uh, oh, a uh, observatory right next to it. Crash freighter, you know what? Let's land at the crash freighter. Maybe we can find some cool stuff in here. Uh, 
Let's do that. And... Hop in this. Don't need the poop or the slime. We're good. Salvage data. <laughs> That'll help. That'll help me. Salvage data. We have a boatload of it. Nope. Nope. Let's see what we got in here. Super conducting fiber. Okay. Pop this one. Salvage data. I think there's one over here. Just going by memory. Um, yeah, it says there's one there. Oh, I didn't go far enough, I think. I need to open this up. There you go, yep. I hear somebody. Did they land? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just checking. I don't want a traitor to land secretly behind me and then go, Oh, I totally stopped for you. It's like, no. Don't let me know when you land, buddy. That way I can actually go get some stuff from you instead of just landing and saying, I don't know why you didn't see me. All right. More salvage data. I know there's one over here. We got a lot of salvage data out of this one. That wasn't really useful. Right, we almost got a whole full stack, 400,000. So yeah, we're up to well, probably three, three and a half million just in our inventory. see what this is that is just a save beacon thank you trading out mm. <laughs> trading outpost can't go over there now supposedly around a trading outpost and a planetary archive there is supposed to be graves so I will look for a grave Gotta go slow and low. Unknown building, huh? Just to see if it pops up on our radar. We can't go to the uh, treated outpost. That's a marketplace. Well, great. Cannot go to there either. That is uh, a building of some kind. Abandoned building. Excuse me while I smash into that thing. So I'm not seeing it with my, uh, my ship. However, I don't fully trust the ship. Oh God, land. I don't fully trust my ship just because you might go too fast. Now we're good. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's not what I wanted. crystals right here just like so it makes some more launch fuel Technology 
There we go. Done and done. So now I can call in my ship whenever I want to. Let's go check around this, uh, this, uh, trading outpost. I don't even know where the trading outpost is anymore. Really? Two fighters and a solar. Not one of you wanted to land for me, hey? Trying to find that, uh, trading outpost. I'm not seeing it. Well, I mean, it should be like right over here. Well, let's get down in here. Let's get down on the ground. Maybe we'll get lucky. Solar ship will land for us. Or we'll run into a grave. nothing nope 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 oh, we got it we're good Nefo tonight <laughs> Don't be mad at me. I punched the rock. It wasn't on purpose. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's a grave around here. Any one of these solar ships flying by me? You want to land for me? I hear somebody. Oh, they were way above me and nobody wanted to land anyway. Come on, land! Are you flying in a circle? Don't fly in a circle because that means I'm too close to the, uh... Oh, yeah, that is. That's where the, uh, trading outpost is probably right up there. Because, yeah, they're flying in a circle. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Duh. I didn't even notice it. It would have hit me in the face if I, you know... Oh, yeah, so I'm way too close because any ship that's going to land for, like, a trading outpost will not. It would just land at the actual trading outpost. I would take that. It's an only 8 million. I can afford it. I can afford it. Everything fade in for me. Thank you. All right. So there's our, uh, oh God. What did we see? We saw a broadcast tower over here. <laughs> Hop up here. Yep, every ship that's within range of this uh, trading post is going to just land at that instead of landing for me. Yep, just a little safe beacon. Thank you. No grave markers. That's why we landed. And kind of to, uh, to force the traders to land. But, yeah, we're too close to the outpost. Let's keep going. Away from the outpost. Yeah, see, they're circling really wide. Holy cow. Big dihydrogen crystal. I'll take it. Hey, Sentinel. No, no, no. Don't you look at me. Don't you look at me. Oh, those guys went flying off. Come on, land for me. That was a solar. Would have been cool if you would have landed for me. I would have bought you 100%. Because even if, if I couldn't afford it with the money I have, I have a, a, a hauler to trade in. I got some other ships I can trade in for you. Like, if it's really outrageous, if it's like a $50 million, uh, solar, I would just call in one of my Sentinel ships and trade it for that. Now 
Nada, nada, nada. There's the uh, crash freighter we were at. Oh, there's an unknown building over here. All right, I'm moving along. I'm moving along, Sentinel. No need to berate me and scare me. I'm good. I'm leaving. Oh, God. That just... You see how much it turned my freaking face? Oh, uh, it looks like a resource depot. Just land! Look at all these solars flying by me. Nobody wants to land for me? Just land, dude. Well, let's see. This looks like a resource depot because there's a sentinel right next to it. And I didn't see a roof, so it's probably not a manufacturing facility. It is, yep, resource depot. See, look at this guy. He's just taunting me at this point. He just took a left, now a right. Just purposely flying in circles around me. We need these. Give me that carbon. Make some life support gels for myself. Don't need that. Good lord, nope. That is worth 250, another 416, so that's 600. Uh, 12, 18, uh, what was that, 24, 30, that's 3 million, 36, 3.6. So probably closer to 4 million with everything said and done. I hear him. Dang it. Dang it. I know. Oh, I better actually use it. There we go. Or I freeze. Building over here. Drop pod. Or maybe a crashed uh, solar ship. That would be pretty cool. I don't think so, though. I think I've already been here. So I, I think when I swooped around with my uh, hauler, I, f I surveyed this whole area. Thinking maybe I would see a uh, grave. I don't think it is here, and I don't think I will get one. So yeah, plaque. Yeah, I'm not finding anything here. It's still unknown. I'm looking right at it. Come on. All right. Just, you know, stay unknown. That's fine. I'll not uh, force you to identify yourself. That's fine. Oh, uh, let's go, go, go. No, no. That's a cool looking hauler. Look at this hauler. Look at that hauler. Oh, the neck is kind of weird though. I like the wings on it though. They're red though. I don't like that. that. Why? Why? Hey, one of you solars land for me. Why are they shooting me? Why? 
What is it going on here? I didn't even, I'm not even near a building. What is, are you guys just picking on me at this point? I'm not near a building. What are you doing? Seriously. That is ridiculous. Oh, that's a solar as well. You want to land for me? You don't want to land? He's going in a circle. What's going on here? Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, they're fighting them for me, dude. One of you solars, if you really want to help me out, land for me. I will buy your ship and I will go take them out. Okay, so the solars are attacking. Okay. Well, thank you, solars. For, uh, you know, helping me out. I don't know why those guys wanted to attack me. I'm on foot. I didn't even shoot at them. I did call them mean names, but they can't hear me all the way down here. Oh, Sentinel, of course, you're right there waiting for me. Sentinel just sitting there waiting for me to do anything. Yeah, no grave markers. No crash ships. Absolutely not. I don't need that. This is what I wanted. thousand feet away still marked I hear somebody it's a shuttle come on now I'm just wandering around in a big old like a uh, uh, line of looking for Oh, there's another one over there, too. Let's see what these are. Hopefully, we're at the top of a mountain. So, we have one. Okay, so beacon. Don't need that. And number two is a resource depot that just popped in. Great. So, I don't need either one of those. Nothing, nothing. Depot, resource depot. Why are there two different markers for that thing? Gonna call in my ship. Screw it. We're gonna fly for a little while and see if I can find a, uh, a crash ship or something. Or maybe a, uh, a freaking, what's it called? Uh, like a drop pod or something. And good trusty north. Unknown building. Observatory. Don't need that. That is a minor settlement. Don't need that. Unknown building next to a big old rock. What are you? You are a... Oh. Pl uh, was it plaque? And a uh, broadcast comm state a tower? A beacon? Holy cow! Right there? And then we also have... What is this? Like every building imaginable, all in the same area. And then that's a manufacturing facility. Whoa! Wow, okay. But 
Will you show me a crashed ship that happens to be a solar? That would help out. Oh, man, they are marking a whole bunch of stuff. That was a random... What is going on here? A painted building. You guys want to mark a, uh, a crashed ship? That'd be great. Come on. Shelters we don't need, but I appreciate you. That's a crash... Dude! Crashed, uh... What's it called? Crash freighter? This is what? What building is this? Oh, that is a, uh, looks like a manufacturing facility. Right underneath a, uh, crash freighter. Wow! What is going on? All these buildings are within, like, you know, 500 feet of each other. That's crazy. That is absolutely phenomenal. I love that. And, oh, there's a, uh, settlement. Or not a settlement, a shelter. Yeah, look at all this stuff. If I would've just kept going straight north, I would've ran into, like, every building imaginable. Another manufacturing facility? What is that? What is that? Er, I see something. Oh, yeah. Just say beacon right next to that manufacturing facility. Anything else? Look at this. It's a plaque. That is a plaque. Wow. Come on. Give me a... I mean, I'm hitting all the other bu buildings. Literally. Give me a, uh, a crash ship. A crashed solar. Not gonna do it, are you? Or a drop pod. We didn't see a drop pod, so I will say we didn't get every building, but man, we got a lot of them all at once. And now it's all open area. Nothing to see here. That is a shelter. Yeah, it looks like a shelter that's buried. Oh, there you go. Had to pop back out. Come on. Saw something. Up, oh, saw a building. Looks like a, uh, like a, just a. Manufacturing facility? Probably. Another building marked randomly over here. Is that a monolith? That's a monolith. Let's just land at this monolith. Let's see what it got. What it has. Maybe it'll give me a good multi-tool. I don't know if it's going to beat my uh, Sentinel multi-tool, but hey. Let's see. Let's see it try. Can you give me a better multi-tool than what I have? Can you give me an S-Class Royal? <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, tiny floating tehedrons that emerge from the planet's surface surrounding me. I try to wave them away from my multi-tool, but each time they swarm closer to it, as if attracted to it somehow. Oh, this might be a multi-tool thing. They shimmer blue as they dart this way and that, closer and closer. Let the tetrahedrons in. My multi-tool glows bright blue. The color spreads up my arm. With a sudden surge, the electronic glow reaches my brain, and I pass out. I awake. Reality is restored. I find myself in possession of a new piece of multi-tool technology. I know how to make a pulse spitter now. Yeah. Never going to use it, but I know how to make one. So there you go. So if I didn't already have my uh, advanced mining beam, I would have gotten it there. So that would have been an advanced mining beam, but I already got it, so it had to skip ahead to the next multi-tool upgrade, which was the Pulse Spitter. So, good lord, we didn't have no luck with solars this episode. I thought for sure we would find something, but we did not, so hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, 
hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one when we try to keep finding our freaking solar ship so i'll see you guys next time